Welcome back to Southern RV TV. I'm your host, Barry, and I was supposed to be meeting my co-host, Jonathan, out here on the sales lot to go over this brand new 195 RB from Jayco, but I hadn't seen him anywhere, so we're gonna, wait a sec, hey. What? Barry, I'm here. I told you I'd be here, man. Oh my goodness. Well, that's quite a splashy intro, I guess. This, what is this? This looks just like what I pulled around already. So it's very similar. This is a Jayco 195 STX. That stands for Super Trailer Extreme. Oh my goodness. Well, it's the same floor plan, but different. All right, well then that means we've got an RV showdown on our hands. It's time. This is super exciting. We haven't done an RV showdown in a minute, and these are great units to compare because this new STX is something that I haven't seen before. Hey, I'll be honest with you, Barry. I saw it roll into the lot and I was a little surprised. Um, I don't even remember the STX getting any fanfare. There was no big drop on, on uh, kind of our, our emails in terms of what's coming in. Um, but here it is. It's crazy. And you know, it is reminiscent of Jayco used to have the Baja package mm -hmm. was a thing that they offered. And this makes me think of that in a lot of ways. And I gotta say the STX package does look cool. It's uh, very cool. It's, I mean, you can see we've got the two units here and they are while the same, they do look different. I love the stance on the STX. I love the bigger tires, but let's get into what makes this different because we've got the two of the exact same floor plans sitting there. They are, Barry. The, the 195 RB on both models, um, this is just an additional package to add to it. It gives it that more off-road aggressive look. Um, starting at the front here, we get a power tongue jack in place of the standard manual crank and a 30-pound propane cylinder. So it comes with a 20-pound propane cylinder on the standard SLX. This one's gonna give you, sounds like 50%, it's actually like 60 or 65% more propane out of that tank. Yeah, just because of the way these things fill up, you are gonna get a little more life out of that tank for sure. And I'm noticing right away, you know, the 195 I brought around, the SLX, does not have front stabilization jacks. That's right, so that's another item that they've added on, four independent crank down scissor jacks. Um, that's just part of the overall package to make sure that this works well in a little bit more rough terrain. Yeah, and they've changed the graphics package. That's right. I mean, it's so, not a huge change, but it's different. It's, it's subtle. You, you get the XTX kind of like splashed, mud splash logo. That, that was not from my intro. That's like that. Um, <laughs> and then you get, the, yeah, the mountain range back there, which we also saw on the front cap. Um, so just a little bit of a graphics change just to give it a little bit of individuality between the standard SLX. Yep, and they're doing some other cool stuff here. I've noticed that we're running a flipped axle. That's right, flipped axle. What that does is it actually gives us a little more ground clearance. Um, it's overall, I'm gonna guesstimate here and say it's probably about a three to four inch flip. Uh, and with that, we also get these Goodyear, of course, everything is Goodyear with Jayco, the Goodyear Wrangler off-road tires. These are a 15 inch radial tire uh, with aluminum alloy wheels. Yeah, and they've gone and they've added this Nice big flare on the side to cover up that extra poke that's happening. Right, yeah, it looks like they've probably gone with a little bit wider axle in order to give it a little bit more stance. And with that, they gave you that fender flare. There's a nice little marker light above it, which is uh, kind of nice. And um, if you'll notice right there beside you, they've actually done a two-step entry as opposed to a one-step. That's gonna make it a little bit easier. Again, uh, with the, the higher stance, you need you need to be able to, the ability to get in and out. And I noticed when I was squatted down under there that this thing has an enclosed underbelly, which is something that my SLX over here does not have. That's right, that's right. Again, when we talk about kind of uh, going off grid a little bit, maybe it's some, some cooler climates in the mountains, uh, that's gonna keep it a little warmer on the inside. Yep. And another thing that I noticed, because I saw the spec sheets on this thing versus the SLX, 
the STX has 10 gallons more in a fresh water tank. And it's my understanding that all of the STXs are coming with bigger fresh water tanks than the SLXs. That's right, that's part of the package for the STX. It gives you a larger fresh water tank. It is gonna vary by model, but it is larger than the SLX fr uh, fresh water tank. And again, talking about more off-grid capability, that goes hand in hand with it. And one thing that we can't see right now, it's not part of the STX package, but we did option on here both the uh, solar panel on the roof uh, that combines with a 30 amp charge controller, it's already here, as well as the 12 volt refrigerator. So that is optional on all J flights, um, but we did it specifically on this so that you can go off grid and with some nice sunny days, you can operate that refrigerator indefinitely. Pretty cool. It seems like there's a lot of value in the STX package, but I really don't think if we compare the insides that they're gonna be that different. They're very, very similar, Barry. It's the same floor plan, same box. We're gonna find those couple of nuances in terms of how we optioned, but why don't we check it out? Yeah, let's do it. Let's hop up in there. All right. Well, stepping up into this thing, I mean, it's a single axle little trailer, so it's gonna feel a little snug, but it's actually quite spacious for what it is. That's right. For what it is, it's it's got good space in here. You've got floor space to walk around, you've got a place to change some clothes, obviously cooking, that sort of thing. So it's got good space in here. And we've yeah. got some extra head height. Yeah, it's six foot three. I think my hair might have scrubbed that button yeah. when I was walking in. But other than that, I mean, I feel like I've got plenty of room to kind of move around, stretch out. It's, it's for not having a slide, I feel like everything's here and it works. Now, but looking around, as we were saying outside, SLX to STX, no difference inside. No difference on the inside. The only difference between the two is just gonna be how we optioned them. Yep. Again, we optioned in this 12 volt refrigerator and then your charge controller. Yeah, Barry, why don't so, you yeah, show them that? Right up front up here, we talked about it outside, how we've got that panel on the roof. Now we've got our 30 watt, or uh, 30 amp, excuse me, charge controller right here on the wall. So that gives us all the information that we need mm -hmm. about what that thing's doing and how it's interacting with our battery. That's right. That's gonna give you a nice solid charge when the battery's full, it's not gonna overcharge, burn your battery up. And I've played with these things. They're actually really slick. When it's sunny outside, we've disconnected a battery and all of the lights remain on. It's, it's pretty wild with no power connected to it. The solar panel and charge controller although it doesn't have any capacitance like a battery would, it will still run lights. It's crazy, yeah. So that just gives it a little bit of you know info as to just how powerful that system is and what it can do. Now, this is, I mean, this is a pretty standard single axle floor plan. There's not a lot of craziness going on here. I mean, we've got, you know, the nightstands on either side with plugs. We've got the standard little hanging closets and a shelf up here. This is something we see in a lot of travel trailers. Yeah, it works quite well. Um, I mean, the space, you, you've got some good storage. Uh, you'll note above my head, we've got some overhead cabinetry as well as lower and overhead cabinetry in the kitchen. Um, so it's one of those where they've they've made use of all that space. You got a nice little kind of open spot up there with the mesh net. And yep. of course, don't forget, there's always the storage underneath the bed as well. And they've given us a privacy curtain, you know, to separate off the bed from the rest of the unit mm -hmm. if we so choose to, because that table you're sitting at can become a bed. That's right. This this unit sleeps three. Um, so this table will drop down, the cushions rearrange, and uh, this is basically like a small small twin bed. I mean, yeah. it's, it's perfect for a child, or as the joke that I always tell my customers, if my options are to sleep outside in a tent or I can sleep here on your dinette, yep. thank you for uh, giving me that option. Yeah, and I noticed that we've got a lot of storage up under the bed here. This lifts up to reveal that massive space. And you can see our fresh water tank hiding out over there as well. And then they've given us a few other things. They've put the head unit right up above you here. Mm -hmm. So we've got some stereo on board. If you wanted to hook up a TV, you could. We'd put it on this far wall here. Yeah. And you'll note that there's even uh, what we would call from the old days a, a cigarette plug over there. Go 12 so, volt. 12 volt. So yeah. solar. You can, yeah. you can have solar powering your television. That's right. 12 volt TVs are something that unless you're in the RV business, you probably don't think of often, but they are actually quite common and um, don't cost much more than a standard 120. So you can run a 12 volt TV in here. That's pretty cool. So the kitchen itself has pretty good storage in it. There's, you know, some cabinetry up high and low. We've got plenty of space up under the sink there. 
I like that they put a high faucet on it as well. That's nice for washing out pots and pans. The sink isn't huge, but again, this is a, a small unit, so I don't expect a lot in here to be very big. That's right, it is compact, but on the same token, you know, you still get your microwave, standard fare. You've got the hood vent to be able to push things to the outside. And that's over that two burner stove. So typically we would see a one burner stove, or if we see a two burner, it's more of a, a, a surface mount. This is recessed and you've got that extra counter space the way that little glass top folds over if you need it. That's right, that's pretty cool. And then I've noticed that our heater and our main breaker box are all right there as well. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. that, that heater I'm sure will run you out in the winter time and you've got quick and easy access to fuses and breakers there. Now the fridge, that is one thing that's different from our 195 SLX to the STX, but it's not because of the STX package as we were saying. It's just because we optioned it in this way. It's the way we optioned it. Again, thinking a little more off-grid, um, you don't need to be connected to shore power to power that fridge. It's gonna run off your 12 volt battery or batteries. And that solar charge panel, uh, solar panel and charge controller will continue to charge that battery. That's also larger than a standard fridge. We get that question a lot. Um, the 12 volt refrigerators cool faster and are a good bit larger than a standard LP fridge because it doesn't have those fins in there. That's that. right, those cooling fins that are in the back of the LP fridge do take up space. So this gives us a little more volume. We've got a roof mounted AC. This thing is direct dump. It's not ducted, but this unit's so small, it yeah. shouldn't matter. There, there's yeah. nothing to duct. I mean, just, just put the cool air in here and you're ready to go. Honestly, it's gonna make it more efficient in uh, sure, this yeah. size. Let's, the bathroom is right here at the back of the trailer. Decent size. I mean, you know, you've got a foot flush toilet and a tub. Which That's is right. Yeah. Something a little bit different. A little bathtub there. And, you know, even at six foot three, they've given us the skylight. So I got to be in it in this little trailer, but I'm in, you know, like I'm, 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 I'm not feeling super trapped too confined. Mm -hmm. There's a fair amount of space this in here. And, you know, they've gone ahead and mounted up our toilet paper holder. All of it's right there. We've even got in the back back here a big closet, which I could see using that for several different things. Yeah, Barry, they've got that hanging rod in the top, so you can hang some clothes in there if you need it for overflow. Um, but quite honestly, I see that as a blank canvas to be able to do some shelving, that sort of thing. Just some little modular shelves from uh, mm -hmm. Ikea or something like that would work well. That way you've got a place to organize shoes and food and all that. Yeah, like a pantry slash clothing closet mm -hmm. slash coat, whatever. It's, it could do all sorts of things. It's just a versatile space that they've kind of left blank. So yeah, I mean, this unit, again, not huge, but everything's here is everything you need. And I think that uh, we should kind of wrap this up. We should do some final thoughts. So let's pop outside and uh, talk about what we think about each of these and where we think it should go from here. Sounds great. All right, so when I first pulled around the SLX-195RB, I was intent on doing a tour that highlights a lightweight, inexpensive, perfect for a solo traveler mm -hmm. or maybe a couple little camper you know not something too heavy most people can tow but now that you've pulled this brand new stx around i might be swaying towards your side well i'm going to be honest with you as you were going through your list that's what the stx is it's yeah it's it's i mean it hits all those high points the difference in weight between the two vehicles is less than 200 pounds that's right so that's not going to make or break anybody and the um, cost is not that much more either i mean we're talking about 25k msrp versus 28k msrp yep. and guys that's going to fluctuate a little bit with options and stuff right but ugh, they're super close for three more 3k more mm -hmm. that's barely going to affect your monthly payments and look at all the cool stuff you get for it all kinds of fun stuff you if you want to go adventuring and go a little bit off the beaten path you've got that capability you've got the capability to go a little bit longer without power and water and propane fills so, I mean, it's, it's everything that's great about the 195 RB SLX, but a little bit better. That's right. I think it's super cool. I'm glad you brought it by. Uh, this has been far better than the one little tour that I was going to do. So, <laughs> you guys, if you like these campers and you want to see them for yourself in person, come on down to Southern RV in McDonough, Georgia. We're right off of I-75, just south of Atlanta or you can visit us online at southernrv.com. Please subscribe to our channel. We need more viewers. 
because we love you guys and we appreciate your feedback. So click again, like, yes. click like. And until next time, as always, happy, happy camping. camping.